Welcome to Star Sector, folks. Well, a short tutorial on how to uh, find and install mods uh, for Star Sector and how to adjust uh, the RAM allocation for Star Sector so that you'll actually be able to uh, run the mods. I had a few questions on these topics uh, during my uh, playthrough that's ongoing at the moment, uh, Star Sector Next Serilin, which is one of the major mods for uh, for Star Sector. And uh, so I, th I thought I'd just make a quick tutorial on how to get mods to work for your Star Sector. So here we have the Star Sector website, and over here we have a categorized list of mods which you, you'll want to look at. But before you get into mods, if you have not played Star Sector before, I recommend playing it uh, vanilla first because this, the mods add a lot to it and it can get quite confusing if you haven't uh, at least uh, tried out uh, the vanilla gameplay first. So start with a vanilla game if you haven't played Star Sector before and then get into mods later. Now, some of the important mods are the libraries here. You will need those uh, for many of the mods that you will be installing. Uh, Nexerlin is the big one, I'd say, where it turns the game into a, uh, a 4x game. So this will allow factions to wage war. There will be diplomacy. You can join factions. Uh, you can mine, have agents, uh, pay tribute, uh, stuff like that. So there's a lot in the Nexerlin mod, and I highly recommend it, but not until you've tried the um, the vanilla game. So all you need to do really from this uh, categorized list uh, to get the mods is click on the mod that you want and download it. And there we go. It's now downloading. So that's super easy. Now, the next thing you'll want to do is once you've downloaded the mod, you have, uh, I have here a bunch of mods that I have downloaded for my playthrough. Uh, I'm not using all of them, uh, but I'm using a lot of them. And basically what you want to do is select the mods that you've downloaded, uh, right click and select extract all and then uh, find the place where you have your star sector installed. There's a folder called mods, open that and select extract for that. I'm not gonna do it because I already have a lot of mods here and uh, many of the ones that I've selected, but so I'm not gonna exactly do it, but that's all you need to do. Uh, select the folder and extract. So that's it super easy to install the mods. Now, the next thing that you'll need to do is if we take a look at the Star Sector uh, folder you, where you have Star Sector installed, you'll want to open up the VM params file, but make a copy of it first uh, to be safe. So make a copy of the VM params file and then edit the original. So I'll, I'll open up my copy to show you and we'll open it and edit it with uh, Notepad++. In here, you need to adjust your RAM al allocation uh, because the game won't run with mods if you don't uh, adjust your RAM al allocation. You need to have more RAM allocated to the game. So a rule of thumb, for wh whatever reason, I'm not actually sure is uh, don't go above eight uh, gigabytes of RAM. I'm not sure why, but uh, that's what I have been told. So don't go above eight, eight gigabytes of RAM and never go above half of your installed RAM. So you have, if you have eight gigabytes of RAM on your, your computer, don't go above four gigabytes. If you have 16, go up to eight. If you have 12, then go to six, so on. So what you wanna adjust here is the XMS and the XMX. Uh, this is the RAM allocation. So by default, you have one and a half gigabytes of RAM, 1536 megabytes is 
uh, one and a half gigabytes of RAM. And you can adjust this by simply editing here. So let's say you have eight gigabytes of RAM on your computer, then you want to adjust it to 4096 for both of these. And so my mouse will cooperate. 4096. So one uh, gigabyte of RAM is 1024 megabytes of RAM. So just adjust this to 4096, save the file, and that's that. Now you have four gigabytes of RAM allocated. If you have, if you want to allocate uh, six gigabytes, then it's 6144. So we can do that. Whoops. And if you want eight, uh, gigabytes of RAM, then it's 8192, which you adjusted to. So save the file and then you're done. And we can take a quick look at uh, my actual VM params file uh, and edit with notepad. And you'll see that I have 8192 uh, megabytes of RAM allocated, eight gigabytes. And that is uh, all good. So the more mods you have installed, the the more RAM you will need to allocate, really. Uh, but never more than eight. You don't need more than eight. So if you only have eight gigabytes of RAM available, set it to four gigabytes, and then find out uh, what you can actually run. The increase in RAM should also uh, speed up uh, the saving time for uh, for the game so if you are ex experiencing long save times then you can increase the ram as long as you don't go above half of your ram uh, to save a little bit faster i believe now in order to activate the mods that you've downloaded and installed here in the mods folder you'll need to go and click star sector modded well, your star sector icon, and then open up mods here at the bottom of the little pop-up. And here you have all the mods, and you can select and deselect them as you see fit. I'm going to cancel this because I'm actually using this install for the playthrough that I'm doing now. So, yeah, that's basically it. That is basically it. Uh, now, some nice mods to start out with. Uh, of course, get the graphics libs, and then there are some utility mods. So, for instance, uh, Combat Chatter is nice. It lets your uh, ships kind of call out what's going on. Uh, are they getting uh, hull damage? Stuff like that. So, you can see here, I've taken hull damage. Uh, this guy is overloaded, and so on. Then there is the Common Radar which is really nice, uh, which puts a radar down in the bottom right corner, I believe it is, and lets you see enemy ships a little bit further off. Um, what else is there? Well, it, it's basically uh, speed up is nice because then you can, uh, for me, it's set on the middle mouse button. I hold down the middle mouse button and it speeds up combat uh, times two if there's not so much going on or if you're uh, not flying a ship yourself, you might want to speed up combat. So yeah, and then we of course have Nexerilin, the 4X mod for, uh, for Star Sector, which is really cool. And then we ha you have some content expansions with uh, new ships and stuff like that. And we have uh, faction mods. So these are all the factions that you can install to have in your game. Like, for instance, uh, Sylphan R&D, which I am uh, playing at the moment. You have uh, Tian Dong. You have uh, Oare, Asumi Guyan, Celestial Mount Circle so on and so forth and you can just download them and install the ones that you want to play with so yeah anyway i hope you found this helpful if you did why not leave a uh, nice like and i'll put in links in the uh, in the description to uh, this page so that you can find it nice and easy and uh, yeah, have fun with your Star Sector modded playthrough. Thanks for watching.